Hi there. This is in continuation to one of the previous videos that uh, that we made on GitHub Copilot. So in that video, we generated this entire code using GitHub Copilot. If you haven't watched that video and you're interested, there would be a link down below or somewhere in the video for you to go and watch. But today, since we have this code available and it is backed by GitHub, what we want to do is to check in this code but we want AI or GitHub Copilot to write the commit message. And I will show you two, two ways to do that. So first thing, how do I know that I have any changes? It's because this number one is showing that there is one change. This icon is for version control. As I click here, you will see that there is one change that is already staged. And there is one place where we can write message, which is right here. Now, if I take your attention to the right hand side of this text box, there is a little icon as I hover, you see this activity. So this is where GitHub Copilot is sitting. See if I hover, it says generate commit message with Copilot. So I will click and it is generating the message and see what it has said. It says add a function to find minimum number in an array. And this is exactly what we have done. And in order to prove that this is the case, I will check on this file here and we can see the difference. Earlier it was just a console log, but now we have finding a minimum number. So GitHub Copilot was right on telling us that this should be your commit message. Now this is one way. And let's say you really want to add more to it. I can remove this. There, there might be a shortcut, uh, in which case I'm, I moved from IntelliJ to VS Code, so I have all those keyword mapping. If I do Command K, the commit window opens up. But if you really want to find out how you can do this yourself, you can come on these three icons, click on Commit, and say Commit again, and you will see the same window again. Now, unlike where GitHub Copilot created or suggested the commit message here, we have the entire message file. So we can start typing in. It's not auto-populated or auto-suggested uh, commit message, but I can start typing in and GitHub Copilot will get the intention of what I'm trying to write. So I'll say, add new, add new method to, so it, it's saying that you added new method to index.ts file. So this is the grayed out part. And I will say, nope, this is not what I need, I've done. So to find minimum minimum value in array. So this is what, based on the intent of my writing, GitHub Copilot has thought that this is what I'm trying to do. So these are really two ways how we can uh, generate commit message by leveraging GitHub Copilot. In my experience, I when I have to type a lot, I come here, otherwise I just close this. I don't save, so it'll not it says commit operation was canceled because it was empty. I tend to come here and click on this button. And I generally tend to take this commit message because it's most of the times accurate based on what I'm trying to do. So I will click commit and I will sync the changes. I, it does the push and pull, but the idea is that now my changes have been committed and they have been synced to, or they're syncing to GitHub as well. So these are really two ways. Um, I hope that this is useful. And in the future videos, I will try to showcase more areas where GitHub Copilot can help speed up the development process. And if you like this video, consider uh, writing a comment, sharing what you like and what areas you would like us to cover in the future videos. All right, until next time we meet, take care of yourself, keep practicing, keep trying, and we will see you soon.